These divers are part of the salvage team on RFA Diligence. They're a crucial element to the forward repair ship as they can maintain and repair defects to Royal Navy vessels underneath the water while still in the middle of the ocean. In order to keep up their skills along with the RFA crew, the Royal Navy and the Navy mechanics, they're on exercise OMAR, which stands for Operational Maintenance and Repair. The scenario starts with an emergency call from HMS Montrose. She's had a collision with a merchant vessel. The salvage team take immediate action. OK, Tim, uh, reports come in. We're still waiting for the formal OPSTAT damage. But at the moment, reports are 10 degree list to starboard, caused by a collision down the starboard side. We sent two people over on the rib, a salvage tow master and a salvage engineer. They embarked and they assessed the damage to the hull in conjunction with the ship's own company and also they went up onto the forecastle to look at what would be required if the ship needed towing. Using a remotely operated vehicle is the first step to assessing the damage to the ship. Now this remote operated vehicle has two cameras right here at the front, one in black and white and one in colour and it has two lights, one either side. Now the aim of it is to do a quick survey just underneath the ship here so it will save a diver going in straight away. We'll release that now. This device will go down to 150 metres and will send information and video footage back via its umbilical cord to Central Command at Abbey Wood in Bristol. They'll then make a decision how to go ahead with the repair. The footage I'm showing now through the screen here is the actual stabiliser is joined up to the hull of the ship. And I'm checking around the whole stabiliser to see what, how much intact it is, uh, see if there's any damage to it and what damage has occurred to the, the casualty. The 13-man salvage team here on board are MOD civilians. But six years ago, their status changed. They're now sponsored Navy Reserves, and this is their first deployment. They're all trained to dive, carry out electrical and mechanical work and fabrication. The assessment from the remote operated vehicle did show that there was damage to the warship, which means that this team of divers are needed for some underwater repairs. Basically, I'm making sure that the, or running the, running the dive, making sure that the diver is safe. He's going down doing a video survey of the hull of the vessel to make sure there's no damage. Um, we have to make sure all the procedures are in place. So if the diver has main air and backup air, standby diver is dressed and ready to go. Um, running the dive log to make sure he doesn't go over his time and get a bend or anything as well. For the first time, the salvage team here have worked alongside the RFA, the Royal Navy and the Navy mechanics, and it's gone to plan. They've been able to successfully work as one in assessing the damage of the ship and carrying out repairs. If needed in a real-life situation, there's no doubt they'll be ready. Laura Hawkins, Forces News off the coast of Bahrain.